Hey, let's do a factor reset for this Coolpad uh, Legacy from Boost Mobile. And I'm gonna show you three ways or three steps, three different kind of uh, reset. Uh, but mainly it's a factor reset if you're looking to delete all the information uh, in your phone's mem internal memory and external memory card if you want to just uh, wipe, uh, wipe it down, everything on your phone's uh, internal memory card. And also uh, if you are struggle with um, connection with your internet or problem with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, or you just, just want to uh, refresh your uh, day, your settings, your data settings. So let's go to menu. Let's go to settings and uh, open. Okay, on right, settings, let's go to all the way, all the way down and find the system. Okay, system, and then let's go and uh, search the advanced. Okay, and backup. It is important that you know your uh, Google account on your backup option. You're gonna see your uh, Google account associated with the phone. It's important that you know your password because you are, you are doing a factory reset. Um, you need this information, okay? And if you are just trying to refresh your uh, data, uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, uh, you don't have to worry about um, um, the Google because anything on your phone is gonna be deleted, okay? Anything like videos, pictures, contacts, uh, web history, Everything is going to be remain the same, um, but uh, factor reset is you, know, you have to worry about that because everything is going to be delete and make sure that you do a backup on your phone before performing a factory reset. Okay, so uh, and, and I highly recommend you to go to any computer, tablet, uh, and enter or log in with your Google account to make sure that the password is uh, correct, is, is the one associated with the account because I have subscribers on my channel saying that they are for sure that the password it is the one associated with the email but <clears throat> once they, they confirm verify Google after the factory reset um, it doesn't match, it doesn't, doesn't accept so uh, make sure that you have the correct password. Alright so let's go and uh, hit the reset options and like I said before, reset Wi-Fi, mobile, and Bluetooth. Um, <clears throat> that's and that's that's the one that you you need to do for your um, uh, refresh your data in case that your internet is slow or uh, it doesn't show the LTE or things like that. Okay, so just uh, reset the, at the bottom, and also Wi-Fi if you struggle connecting Wi-Fi or um, by doing that. It, uh, after the reset, you actually have to enter the Wi-Fi password again, as well as the Bluetooth as well. Okay, um, you need to register Bluetooth again to every device that you have registered on your phone. So uh, that's the one. The second one: res reset app preferences. Only if you do a couple changes on, let's say that <clears throat> on your call application or messaging application, you have any signature, any. Any changes, personal changes that you did, uh, that's the one they're gonna be uh, delete or change. They're gonna reset to the to the original uh, settings. Okay, so but you can go back and and reset the same settings. Okay, the third one is the one they're gonna do right now. They're gonna show here erase. Uh, this is the one that is gonna be delete everything on your phone. So it's important that you know your Google account. Like I said before, and, and, and do perform a backup. So everything on your videos, uh, pictures, contacts, um, you, you will be able to upload it to your Google Photos and Google Contacts. I have a video, a tutorial on how to do this factor reset. So if you need help with this, just um, <clears throat> I'm not trying to leave um, the link on the, this video description. So just go open it and follow the steps or you can check and uh, take a look how to do it. All right, so um, let's go and hit the reset phone. Uh, if you have a password, pattern or pin, they wanna ask you to very confirm and then you're gonna see this option erase everything, okay? Once you touch erase everything, uh, you won't be able to go back. So make sure that this is, uh, you're ready and this is what you need to do. All right, so you're gonna touch, touch erase everything and when the phone will um, re reset or reboot, <clears throat> okay. So just gonna give a few a few minutes here. 
uh, it's gonna see recovery and then <coughs> okay so we are okay, there you go so we are on the screen um initial setups i mean uh we, we took a few minutes in case just in case uh, your phone gets stuck on the coolpad logo and doesn't uh, take you to the main screen or initial setup screen i <coughs> i will um recommend you to long press the power key to power out the phone and since we won't be able to go back to settings to uh, perform another factory reset that's when we have to do a hard reset so we want to leave another link on the phone description or phone's comment section so you can open that link to, have to do a factory reset uh, on your phone where when you are not able to access to the phone settings and it, and also that applies to if your phone has a lock screen and you forgot your password pattern or pin then you also can do a factory reset with external keys okay so uh, just uh, follow the steps of that uh, video and we're gonna do another factory reset with um, the buttons of the phone <clears throat> okay um, the thing is that sometimes um, we don't restart our phone at least three times a month and so many game applications or music applications or so many web history and cookies uh, stay uh, st uh, stored on the motherboard and since we don't uh, reboot it that's when uh, the motherboard gets gets stuck and it doesn't work properly that's why you experience some drop calls and and um, your phone get frizzed or just turn off itself and doesn't need to we need to calibrate Before the motherboard so make sure i do a factory reset all right so Double let's the we are on the initial setup screen feature. just hit the next button to enable other features tab accessibility okay <laughs> and here are the languages that this phone comes with this phone um there you go and so just hit the start button and uh let's go at the bottom and if you already have active sim card go ahead and insert it so you will be able to um connect if you already have this phone on a boost mobile account or Metro PCS or any other carrier that straight touch wireless then um, just um, as inside the SIM card so they can uh, register the network okay it's gonna take a few minutes here if you want to just keep this step and you don't want to connect your phone to any other to any carrier just and you're trying to perform a factor reset then just remove the SIM card slot um, and like this one and then uh, the phone will let you continue okay so just skip this step <clears> okay <throat> next step is google services i highly recommend you to leave everything on because the first uh, result like, when you go to a google uh, search engine the first result you're going to receive is the one on your phone's location so it's important that you leave that on Okay, also if there is any Wi-Fi available in your area so you can use uh, also you can um, and also any updates for your Android you're gonna be receive a notification so you will be able to download it and have your phone up to date okay uh, fingerprint we have the fingerprint sensor here if you would like to unlock your screen with your uh, sensor uh, uh, fingerprint you can do it now or you can do this once we get to the uh, phone settings so uh, for now i'm gonna skip this step and next step is uh, face recognition also if you want to um, block the screen with uh, face recognition then you can do it now or you can go ahead and you set up this once you get to the phone settings as well as a pattern pin or password i will say not now because we can do this after once you get to the uh, home screen of the phone okay so uh, location consent uh, I highly recommend you to uh, check this box because that's it's important that your location is registered so 
for very convenience with every other uh, Google um, products. Okay, so we already uh, got on the uh, main screen of the phone, and this is how to do a factory reset for this Coolpad Legacy. And let me know if you have any other questions, and please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button as well. And also um, find me other tutorials related to this smartphone in case that um, there is a voice assistant or talkback and you need help, we need help how to um, disable or turn off and also if you have problems with the keyboard or any other issue that you may have with the phone let me know okay thanks so much